The fact that the, the wall panel is architectural, structural, and thermal and moisture protection all in one, that's a pretty powerful assembly in what it can provide for a building. It will outlast uh, limestone or sandstone or any of these cut stones that they're actually cutting out of the quarry, transporting, and uh, it's much more economical to do it out of precast as well. When our customers looked at the precast solution for Silquitech, they, they felt much more comfortable that Silquitech's done their homework, they're going to be around, there's not going to be some um, fire event or some event that's going to uh, affect them. They're moving their manufacturing operation to a vault. We know they'll be okay. Silquitech was a very interesting project that, uh, that had come to us. Uh, the owner originally had designed a metal panel building. They found that they were able to create uh, a, a more pleasing architectural uh, aesthetic facade uh, over what they were considering out of metal panels. And once we get into the thermal value of the panels and the strength and durability, that pretty much sold the job at that point. Most people just think of precast concrete as like a parking structure or some kind of gray box. They don't truly appreciate the architectural flexibility of precast concrete and also don't understand what can be done from a thermal and moisture standpoint. One of the important parts of creating a building that looks like a traditional building with precast is working closely with your a local precast contractor and working with an architect who can help you realize the ideas that you want for your building to become a reality. Because precast is a design product, uh, you basically figure what our value one and we can design to it. Uh, the typical wall panel system, uh, you'll have uh, say three inches of insulation and you're going to achieve uh, between an R19 and an R21 and you're going to achieve those values because of, of two things. Number one, you have edge-to-edge -edge, uh, continuous insulation, which you don't get in other products. And the other thing is, is you get to rely on the uh, inherent benefit of precast concrete as being a uh, thermal sink. The conventional insulation model has two befores with glass insulation in the middle. Air can leak through those two befores. There's a lot of uh, transfer of energy through there. Uh, if you look at a precast panel, it's tight. It's, it's cement tight clad. So now what you have is you have a building that maintains temperature. You don't see a lot of swings back and forth. It's a very comfortable feeling. Yeah, the insulation is really important to the sandwich wall panel. Obviously the connectors are important, but the insulation needs to be uh, continuous and it has to have certain properties to be able to perform over time. We're encapsulating it in concrete, that's a good thing, so we're protecting it from the elements. But because the insulation is our thermal and moisture protection, it is really important. There's two types of insulation we use at Thermomass, and both of them don't absorb water, and both of them have very high R value that'll stand the test of time. We teamed up with Thermomass. Uh, we've been doing more and more insulated wall panel projects with them. And uh, as uh, the project started to grow in numbers, uh, we started our relationship with Thermomass had become tighter and tighter. And uh, we've done a lot of buildings over the years with Thermomass. And uh, we have been very pleased with their product as well as our customers. The way a sandwich wall panel is made is you have a exterior layer of concrete, a layer of continuous insulation, and then an interior layer of concrete. The whole assembly is held together with a series of white ties or connectors. These connectors that we make at Thermomass are very high tech. They're made of elongated, chemically resistant glass so that it's non-conductive and non-corrosive, meaning that when the wall panel is up in place, you have no thermal bridges. It maintains its purchased R value. Once the forms are constructed and the pieces are built uh, and the, the forms will be built in pieces, uh, it'll be moved into the manufacturing floor where we have a setup crew which is responsible for setting the sides up, uh, accurately placing uh, the seal reinforcing which is made by yet another crew in another department. Uh, once they sign off and give the okay, then we have yet another crew which is responsible for the placement of the concrete. They'll have the concrete batched, uh, delivered to the form, 
uh, they'll place it, they'll, they'll screen it off, they vibrate it. After that, uh, the concrete is uh, then allowed to cure, make the cures for uh, somewhere between 12 and 14 hours until it gains sufficient strength to be able to be removed from the form. Typically the next day, next morning, where it's transported out to the finishing area. The beauty of, of looking at the high performance wall panels for, for a building is that you're, you're going to have energy efficiency. It's also going to cut down on the amount of time it takes for the building to come together. I've been surprised because of what we've had sunny days, they've been assembling. We've had snowy days, we've had icy days, we've had windy days. And all three of those, four of those days, they're out there working hard, putting this building together um, and just assembling the pieces like Legos. It's only natural as an architect, if you haven't worked with precast previously, to use old stereotypes, think that it's simple concrete panels that have no definition or character whatsoever, and that's false in today's environment. Precast buildings are really unique in that um, they can look like anything because concrete is such a flexible material. When you combine the flexibility of concrete with the quality control of a precast environment when they're making it in a facility, it's a controlled environment, they can make a brick building. They can make it look like stone, polished stone to granite, to form liners, to make it look like limestone. There's really no limit to what they can make. So uh, buildings that you see on the road, you might have this impression of well, a concrete gray building. Nowadays, what precasters can do, it could look like the Taj Mahal. If a person comes into us looking for a very unique or interesting type of look, they're the types of clients that we're fitted best with. Uh, what really separates our company from other companies is the fact that uh, we do do the, the unique, uh, untypical type of uh, product looks, textures and shapes. Because of the nature of our product, we're able to take their idea and create it and cast it in the concrete. I think seeing a building go up so fast like that is just is exciting, something you can never experience with a metal building where they start with a metal frame, uh, insulation on top, uh, aluminum outside. Uh, uh, it's just uh, not the same as seeing a precast come together, your baby's being born.